Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Today, we will learn about the layers of the ocean. First, what is an ocean? An ocean is a large continuous body of salt water that covers a significant portion of the Earth's surface. Oceans are a fundamental component of the planet's hydrosphere or the total amount of water that is on Earth and oceans play a crucial role in regulating climate, supporting biodiversity, and influencing weather patterns. There are five major oceans on Earth, and they are often divided based on their geographical locations. The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, the Arctic Ocean. Oceans are characterized by their vast size, deep depths, and the presence of marine life. They contain about 97% of the Earth's water, and the interconnectedness of the oceans contributes to the planet's overall climate and weather systems through processes like ocean currents and the water cycle. Oceans also serve as a vital resource for various human activities, including transportation, fishing, and recreation. Various animals can be found living and traveling through each layer of the ocean. Many animals of the deep have bioluminescence. This is a fascinating natural phenomenon where living organisms, such as certain types of jellyfish, squid, and some deep-sea creatures, produce light on their own. This light is created through a chemical reaction that happens inside their bodies. The ability to produce bioluminescence is like having a built-in glow-in-the-dark feature. It serves various purposes, including attracting mates, scaring away predators, and luring prey in the dark depths of the ocean. Essentially, these organisms have a special ability to create their own light, adding a touch of magic to the mysteries of the underwater world. The ocean can be divided into different layers or zones based on temperature and sunlight penetration. The first layer of the ocean is called the epipelagic zone or the sunlight zone. This is the top layer of the ocean extending from the surface down to around 200 meters or 656 feet. It receives the most sunlight and is where most of the ocean's plant and animal life, including phytoplankton and fish, are found. Here are some other animals that can be found in the epipelagic zone. The common dolphin. These marine animals are mammals and are often seen leaping and riding waves at the ocean's surface. Bluefin tuna. Fast and powerful swimmers, bluefin tuna are found in the open ocean and are highly valued in the fishing industry. Loggerhead sea turtle. These turtles inhabit coastal waters and are known for their distinctive large heads. Great White Shark These are apex predators. The great white sharks are found in coastal surface waters around the world. Mackerel These fast swimming fish are important prey for larger marine animals and are found in the epipelagic zone. The second layer of the ocean is called the mesopelagic zone, or the twilight zone. Below the epipelagic zone, the mesopelagic zone extends from around 200 meters to 1,000 meters, or 656 to 3,280 feet deep. Sunlight here is limited, and the ocean becomes progressively darker. Sunlight penetrates, but it's not enough for photosynthesis, which is the process by which green plants make their own food. 
Here are some animals that can be found in the mesopelagic zone. Lanternfish Small, bioluminescent fish, like the lanternfish, migrate to the surface at night and back to deeper waters during the day. Giant Squid Elusive and mysterious, giant squids are deep-sea cephalopods that dwell in the mesopelagic and deeper zones. Cookie Cutter Shark Named for the cookie-shaped wounds it leaves on larger animals, this shark is found in deep, open ocean areas. Fang Tooth Fish A deep-sea fish with large teeth adapted to the low-light conditions of the mesopelagic zone. Chambered Nautilus a cephalopod mollusk related to squids and octopuses, the chambered nautilus inhabits deep tropical waters. The third layer of the ocean is called the bathypologic zone or the midnight zone. This zone lies between 1,000 meters and 4,000 meters or 3,280 to 13,123 feet below the surface. It is completely dark and the pressure is very high. Creatures adapted to extreme conditions such as bioluminescent organisms are found here. Here are some specific animals that can be found in the bathypologic zone. Anglerfish. These are interesting fish known for their bioluminescent lure used to attract prey in the dark depths of the ocean. Gulper eel, an eel-like fish with a large, hinged mouth found in the deep sea. Barrel-eye fish, recognized for its transparent head, allowing it to look upward through the top of its skull. Blobfish, a deep sea fish with a gelatinous body adapted to the high pressures of the bathypologic zone. Dragonfish, a family of deep sea fishes with specialized adaptations for life in the dark, including bioluminescence. The fourth layer of the ocean is called the abyssopelagic zone or the abyss. Extending from 4,000 meters to 6,000 meters or 13,123 to 19,685 feet, this zone is characterized by very low temperatures and high pressures. Deep sea trenches and abyssal plains are found in this layer. Here are some animals that live in the abyssopelagic zone. Deep sea anglerfish. Similar to its relative in the bathypelagic zone, the abyssal anglerfish also uses a bioluminescent lure to attract prey. Giant isopod, a large crustacean that resembles a giant underwater pill bug adapted to the high pressure conditions of the abyssopelagic zone. Basket star, a type of deep sea brittle star with intricate branching arms found in the abyssal plains. Viperfish, a deep sea fish with long needle-like teeth and a photophore on its belly for bioluminescence. Giant tube worm. Found near hydrothermic vents, these organisms form symbiotic relationships with bacteria and can tolerate extreme temperatures. The fifth layer of the ocean is called the hadalpelagic zone or the trenches. The deepest part of the ocean, starting from around 6,000 meters or 19,685 feet, and reaching the ocean floor. Hadalpelagic zones include deep sea trenches where some of the Earth's deepest points are located. The pressure in this zone is extremely high, and only specially adapted life forms can survive here. Here are some animals that live in the hadalpelagic zone. Giant squid. 
While also found in the mesopelagic zone, giant squids can venture into the hadopelagic zone where some deep sea trenches are located. Snailfish, a diverse family of fish adapted to extreme pressures are found in the hadopelagic zone. Amphipods, small shrimp-like crustaceans that are abundant in the hadopelagic zone and are often found near deep sea trenches. Dumbo octopus, this is a type of octopus with ear-like fins. This is well adapted to the conditions of the deep sea. Mariana Trench Shrimp. This is a species of shrimp that have been discovered in the extreme depths of the Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the ocean. The ocean is a fascinating place. There are a wide variety of plant and animal life that can be found living in it. Learning about the layers of the ocean is essential for gaining insights into the Earth's ecosystems, promoting sustainable resource management, addressing climate change, and fostering technological advancements that benefit both marine science and society as a whole. Now you know that there are five layers of the ocean. They are the epipelagic zone, the mesopelagic zone, the bathypelagic zone, the abyssopelagic zone, and the hadopelagic zone. I hope you learned something about the layers of the ocean today. Thank you for taking this learning journey with me. Until next time. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.